Hello, my favorite kindergartners. It is Mrs. Sharani from the Syracuse Academy of Science and Citizenship. Hi, hope that you are having a great day today. I am ready for a fun math lesson. I hope you are too. Today, if you have um, something to count with, I'm going to be using some new pattern books called Tangrams, which are really fun. If you have um, something like that to use and count with me, or you can just count along with me on the computer, this should be a quick lesson because you guys are counting pros and I'm loving um, all of the great work you are doing. So we'll start off today with a quick fluency game. We'll do our application problem. We will get into our lesson, which is about the number nine. We'll talk about what we learned and then we'll do our exit ticket. So that is our schedule for math today. Like always, it should be fun. All right, let me share my screen and we'll get into our lesson for the day. Lesson 23. There are 35, about 35 lessons in this module. So we are more than halfway done. We're almost there. You guys are doing such good work. This module is really um, setting the stage for being able to um, count things quickly and make sense of objects and see groups and see patterns and start to make sense of the complex world of math. So it might seem really simple and easy now, but it's really, really setting the stage and setting you guys up for success in um, the rest of kindergarten math. So these kind of simple and quick lessons are really crucial. And I know that you guys are going to do a great job with today's. So our goal for today is to organize and count nine objects in linear and array configurations. We are going to place counts on a five group map and then match with the number nine. And you'll do that after um, we're finished. Okay. So today we're going to start off with a new fluency game called Show Me Beans. So I see two hands right here. I'm going to put five of these red beans on the left hand, starting with the pinky. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> they kind of look like they have olives on their hands or something, huh? <laughs> or like little cherry tomatoes. All right, now let's put a white dot on this thumb. How many beans are on the mat now? Okay, ready, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, how many red beans? Five. How many white beans? One. How many beans on the whole mat? Six. If we already know there are five red beans here, which we do, do we really need to go back and count these every time? No, we don't have to because we're mathematicians and good mathematicians wouldn't waste their time counting something they already know, right? There are five here. So let's work on counting on five, six. That's how we can count. All right, let's add another one now. Ready, count on five, six, seven. Let's add another one on with me. Five, six, seven, eight. One more. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, which is today's number of the day. Now, just for fun, if we added one more dot up here, how many would we have? 10. You're right, we would have 10 total. Okay, let's do our application problem now. Let's draw a shape that you might see as a fence on a playground. Okay, what might you see as a fence on a playground? Probably like a rectangle or maybe a square. Let's draw a rectangle though. A rectangle is a straight line down straight line across. Ooh, a little divot there, but that's okay. Straight line up in a straight line back over. So two vertical lines, two horizontal lines. The vertical lines are parallel to one another. And the horizontal lines are parallel to one another. The vertical lines are shorter than the horizontal lines, right? Okay, here we go. Let's put our, I'm getting kind of cozy up here. I hope you are too. It's a rainy day here. Draw, um, oh, we drew our shape. Okay, so let's put eight balls inside the fence now. One, Two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight. All right, let's count our balls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hmm, let me draw with a pen here to show you my counting path. I'm gonna start and stop right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That is my counting path. And when I draw a line like that, it's easy to see. Good work, we did it. We counted eight. Where's my select button? There it is. Okay, now let's get into our concept development of the day. Put five pattern blocks on the mat. Okay, these are pattern blocks, or I call them tangrams in my house, in my classroom. You can call them whatever you want. Pattern blocks, tangrams, they're different shapes. And we'll use these a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, because they're one of my favorite math man manipulatives. Okay, so let's put five on the mat. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we did five. Now let's put four more blocks on the mat. One, two, three, Four. If we wanted to fill this mat just like we wanted to fill our hands, how many more would we need to put? How many more pattern blocks would we need to put up here? Yeah, we would need to just put this last one and we would fill it. But now we made nine. Five shapes in one row and four in the other. Five and four is nine. Yes, it sure is. Okay. Now let's do it this way. We're gonna take three of our blocks and put them in a row under our mat. Three of them, like this. One, two, three. So look at what we did now. When we put three down there into another row, we it kind of looks like a square, doesn't it? And we made three rows of three. So nine is three groups of three. Check that out. Pretty cool. All right. Let's get into our problem set for the day, which is a quick, quick game. Okay. So, which is a quick Google form, I should say. You are going to count the number of dots in these two five frames and then write how many. Count, choose how many. Count, choose how many. Count, choose how many. And when you work on this Google form, you're working on subitizing, you're working on counting on, and you're working on counting things in a scattered group. This is scattered, right? It's kind of like you just took those pattern blocks and threw them down, and you're counting those in a scattered group. And then this is like a scattered group as well. So you're working on counting things in um, nice organized groups, like five frames, and then scattered groups too, because it's kind of easier to count things when they're in a nice organized fashion. When things are like thrown around and kind of scattered, it's a little bit harder. So that's what you're working on when you're doing that Google form. Next math lesson, we'll work on writing the number nine and we'll continue um, building our number sense, which is what we're doing with these quick, fast math lessons that are having us count and um, count on. So great job counting on today. Great job working on the number nine. We found five and four, and we also found three groups of three, which was real cool. So great work with the number nine today. I will see you again for our next math lesson. Bye.